Today, five pairs of ruby slippers are known to exist. The first and most distinct pair are the Arabian test shoes. They were not used in a movie, but nonetheless are extremely valuable. They were found by Kent Warner and are owned by Debbie Reynolds. The Smithsonian shoes, size 5C, were originally purchased at the MGM auction in 1970 by an anonymous buyer who donated them to the museum in 1979. They remain on perpetual display. They are in poor condition, probably worn by Judy Garland and her stand-in during production. Roberta Bauman's size 6B shoes, Dorothy's shoes as they are known, are owned by Anthony Landini. They are currently displayed at the Walt Disney MGM Studio theme park in Orlando, Florida. They are in fair condition, probably used in the dance scene. But they are unique because they are the only pair that Kent Warner never touched. Their provenance is pure. The fourth known pair belonged to Michael Shaw of Los Angeles. He declined to be interviewed for this program. Shaw purchased them from Kent Warner. These are the pair that cross-match with the Smithsonian shoes. They're in pristine condition, size 5C, with the name Judy Garland written on the lining. Because of their value, he rarely displays them for the public. I have to keep the shoes uh, in a bank vault. Uh, the people that still own things that I know they own are in their closets at home. I beg them, really, let the public see them and have them. It's many years. You shouldn't keep them to yourself. The last and most intriguing pair of ruby slippers are the witch's shoes, size 5B. Without question, these were the close-up shoes the pair Kent Warner cherished. They are in excellent condition. Number seven, Judy Garland, is written on the lining. Today, they belong to Philip Samuels of St. Louis, Missouri. On two occasions, he has loaned them to the Smithsonian Institution for display, while the Smithsonian pair were on a national tour. There may well be another pair out there, but nobody knows for sure except Kent Warner, and he is gone. Ultimately, Warner's legacy is that he found and preserved the ruby slippers and put them in the hands of people who cared. I happen to be passionate about great films, and I hope that I can, and I have, saved a lot of that history, and I'm very proud of that and happy that I could do it. One fact is certain. It is almost impossible to keep the ruby slippers hidden from the public. Their charm and their power draw people to them. Indeed, they are magic. All you have to do is believe.